Hello children, welcome to this week's Sunday Club. Psalm 118 verse 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So, let's do that together. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his course with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his course with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Girls and boys, you should rejoice. And you should be happy that God has kept you well. And very soon you are going to your school. Where you will meet your friends. You will meet your teachers. So do not be anxious. Do not be worried. Because... God is with you always, whether you are at home, whether you are in a school, whether you are in a marketplace, or whether you are walking on a street. He is with you. He is watching over you. And God loves you very much. So rejoice and be glad. Now, Moses has grown up to the extent that he can now be taken away from his nursing mother and taken to the palace. Moses goes into the palace as a young boy and he grows up with Pharaoh's son, Namses. And they both grew up as brothers, played together, learned the, the trade of being a prince the craft of being a prince they were taught together they were two fantastic soldiers 
and the pharaoh loved both of them very much the princess loved his son adopted son moses very much now over the years as moses became a young man he realized that when he went out into the town the israelites were whipped and punished as they did the job they were being asked to do and this really upset him now he has found out that his family were Israelites and he was adopted so this made him really angry very very angry when he saw the Egyptians punishing or whipping Israelites one particular day as he was going about his duty carrying out the duty the Pharaoh has asked him to carry out in the building sites where they are building the pyramids he noticed that an Egyptian was flogging an Israelite really high almost for no reason and literally this really made Moses angry and upset and he questioned the Egyptians why are you hitting him why are you beating him and in his anger and his rage he struck the Egyptian really hard and the Egyptian fell and broke his head on a rock and died Moses told the the Israelites to go away quickly and he went away but apparently another Israelite slave saw what Moses had done because Moses quickly pushed the Egyptian into a pit and covered it up and he looked around and thought oh, yes no one has seen me so I'm safe and he went away following day he went out again to carry out his duties as requested by Pharaoh and as he was going, he met two Israelites fighting each other and really having a good way, literally almost killing each other. And Moses said, why are you brothers fighting each other? Why are you, want to, why are you hurting each other? The Israelite, that was offensive and had seen what happened the previous day, said, who made you a lord over us? Do you want to kill me like you killed the very uh, Egyptian yesterday <gasps> Joseph Moses was shocked thought, oh my gosh they know about this I'm in big trouble so he ran away and the Pharaoh heard about Moses having killed an Egyptian so he declared Moses a traitor and do you know the punishments for traitors? They have their head chopped off. Moses knew this. So he decided to go away. His brother Ramses, the adopted brother Ramses, the prince he grew up with, felt sorry for him and gave him a parting gift and helped him to escape. Moses ran into the desert and he wandered and kept on wandering for days <clears throat> because he was a trained soldier and an abundant fighter he knew how to survive in the desert Moses survived and was able to hide away from all the Egyptian soldiers the Pharaoh had sent he kept on going for days and days until he came to a place where he saw a well because he was thirsty he stopped to have a drink this well was at medium and as he sat by the well he noticed some beautiful young ladies come to the well with their sheep and they were trying to get water and these other shepherds the men the male shepherds chased the women away and tried to bully them and stop them from giving water to their sheep so Moses went and defended these ladies and these ladies were Part of the same family seven sisters belonging to the same father and they finished and they went back home and they got home quicker than normal their father said how come you're back so early today oh we met an egyptian soldier who helped us he looked more like a prince so we were able to water the sheep quicker and the father said don't be silly now go 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 and bring him home and the ladies went back and brought Moses back home to their father 
and uh, gave him some water and some food and he settled down to a life in media. So today we see that Moses grew up in a palace as a prince, but he had a heart for his own people and it made him really sad to see how badly they were being treated. And this led him to commit a crime because he wanted to try and stop the bad treatment that this Hebrew was receiving. He eventually got found out and he had to, he, he ran away. And in this life, as we go through life, you know, we will we will come across things and things that make us sad, things that make us angry because of how people are being treated or things that we think are unfair. And it will make us want to do something about it, to try and bring about change. And that is perfectly right. But the thing to remember is that we need to seek God's will first before we act. So let us pray. Father, thank you for the lesson today where we've learnt about Moses, his heart for his people, the Israelites. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will help us when we see injustices, when there are things that we are upset about, that we will seek your guidance and seek your wisdom and your direction because you will point us in the right way that we should go and you will tell us how we should act in these situations. Help us to come to you first, Father God. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Take care. God bless you. Bye.